students in this today's max lecture we are going to start with first lesson and the name of the lesson is basic concepts in geometry in this lesson in this lesson we are going to get familiar with few concepts uh, namely points lines line segments and rays so without wasting any time let's begin with it the first concept that we must understand is about points so we all know that pencil tip needle whenever they are kept on a any flat surface we can see a tiny dot made on that surface and that tiny dot is nothing but called as a point so in short if in we actually cannot define point but we can describe the point okay so how will you describe any point a tiny dot made with a sharp tip is called as a point okay so now let's learn how to write the name of this point okay usually we name the point by using capital letter okay let's have some example see the point r so how to write the name of it simple in simple words point r for the next one it's point d and we write it as point d now it's your turn boys and girls to write the name of it and don't forget to mention it in the comment box below i will definitely check it not immediately but surely so let's move on with the second concept and that concept is lines so we all know that we all know lines usually in normal normal studies we many times we heard the word lines even last year too we had learned this okay so basically line is nothing but the collection of a points whose length cannot be measured let's have some example about the lines okay suppose that i have gathered one point this is one point then next to it very with a very small gap uh, again one point is made again one point is made again one point is made and in this manner if i start collecting many points together and ultimately i can make one line on the surface this line is only possible because there are many points tightly packed together so that no distance is no gap is left in between them and this arrow sign over here indicates that this collection can be increased to any length that we cannot measure understood what i said now let's try to understand how to understand how to write the name of the line there are actually two ways to write the name of the line the first way in which we use capital letters at the arrow head now always keep it in mind boy, boys and girls these name this this name is always given with the capital letters at both the arrow heads and while writing it how will you name it line ag similarly the second way of writing the name of the line is by writing small letter at one of the arrow head and that is and how to name it line edge so i hope you you have understood this sir said we have to write capital letters at near the arrow heads and those capital letters only will make the name of the line second thing second way the name of the line can be written with a small letter which is written at one of the arrow head and the name exactly pronounced as that would be written as line edge and previous one line ag i hope i made it very clear now it's your turn to write the name of the lines here whatever the part you are looking at the screen presently that you have to write in the notebook and you have to always go through it whenever uh, you want to revise the lesson okay now this is the question made for you and the answer of this question you have you must write in the comment be section below okay uh, and i guess you have already known the answer i hope it is correct now let's move on with the second next concept and that is line segment children we have already uh, we have already known uh, we have already learn about the concept of line correct this is line which has which are arrowhead 
at the two tips correct these arrow heads indicate that the line can be extend to any direction now what if i cut this line from this section and only this part is taken so this part is nothing but the line segment usually this line segment has end points so for our conven convenience i made it with the the sort of segments now usually these these ends are shown by the point and this part is nothing but the line segment so let's have a clear look and try to understand the description of it or the definition of it here on. a part of a line whose length can be measured is called as a line segment yes for the line we cannot measure the uh, measure its length and for the line segment definitely we can measure its length so let's start to understand how to write the name of the line usually we use capital letters at the end of and at the end points to name the line segment segment example see at the end points the capital letter is written correct g and d at the end points so the name of the segment is written as seg gd we have to write seg gd okay similarly this second one is for you and i know already how you will you will convey this answer to me you have to write the correct answer in the comment section below and definitely sir will check it not immediately but surely and this screen whatever you are looking presently this you have to write in the notebook so that during the revision you can go through it easily and the last part last concept that we have to understand today is about rays children we are already familiar with one word and that word is sun rays correct sun rays so this is sun and these are its rays okay so this sun is nothing but a point you consider and these rays that are moving forward are like this so if we name the ray with how we usually say sun rays so we always begin with the point section correct from where that ray is originating and in that manner only we write the name of ray so from this concept what we what we need to understand is a part of a line which starts at one point correct which starts at one point and goes forward in the same direction is called as a ray the way i told you this ray at one section it has a point and that point is called as an origin and it continuously moves in same direction and that direction is shown usually by the arrow head okay and while naming the ray we always write its name from the beginning with its origin to the direction how do we write the name of the ray beginning from its origin to its direction okay now let's let's pra practice some names so this is the ray drawn uh, this is a ray seen by you right on the screen and if you if you remember the way i told you the name of the ray begins with the point that is g over here presently and we have to move towards the direction and that direction is shown by letter d so overall the name of the ray over here will be shown will be written as ray gd correct now see check out the second diagram over here presently if you observe again the point is d and the direction is g so how do we write the name of this ray ray dg i hope it is clear to you correct and the answer to this question i have already explained to you and you have to write in the notebook now as we have familiar as we have known to four basic concepts of geometry uh, that is point ray line line segment so let's we will complete let we complete one activity the activity is match the pair and this activity you have to do in the notebook and show to me now you can pause the video 
copy down in the notebook and complete it so that whenever school reopens uh, I, we can check it 